George, I understand you're getting an award tonight for the Tooth Fairy, is that correct? That's correct, for the Tooth Fairy. And can you tell me a little bit about how complicated or challenging is it to write a score for a movie comedy these days? Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, it's, it's very interesting nowadays because comedies are not just one thing. You know, you ha they have romantic aspects to them. They have action aspects to them. In the Tooth Fairy, there was a lot of uh, hockey playing. So all the music really had to be masculine and as if it were a movie about hockey, which it's not. So the, the modern comedy is, is sort of a wide-ranging uh, thing when it comes to musical style. So to me, that makes it more complex, but also more of a challenge. And tell me, um, what are you working on now? What's coming up for you? I have no idea. <laughs> now, does that mean that you're working on anything of your own, uh, other than films or television? Uh, yeah, I like to. Uh, I just got back from Tennessee, where I conducted um, uh, a suite of my music from Bury My Heart and Wounded Knee, which uh, won the Emmy uh, last year for HBO. And uh, it featured the, I did it like a concerto featuring the Lakota flute player John Two Hawks. And uh, so I'm trying to do more live performance of my music, uh, Austin Powers Suite and Santa Claus and, you know, different, different things like that. And it seems like film music is more accepted now in the concert hall than it used to be. Is that a good thing? It's a very good thing. In fact, a lot of young people have never heard orchestra in any other way except at a, in a movie or in a video game. So to get them to come into the concert hall to hear the music from Lord of the Rings is a wonderful thing because they get to experience the grandeur uh, and glory of an orchestra, which uh, probably they'd only heard uh, when they were watching the movie or playing the video game. Tell me, George, what has BMI meant to you in your career? It's been more than just the organization. It's been a real family for me. Uh, the, I've come to be great friends with Doreen and uh, Linda Livingston and all the other people who were, uh, who've been here you know, along with me. It's such a great support system. Uh, Any time I've ever had uh, something I wanted to get a point of view from that was, I knew, informed, but not you know, uh, from, uh, from, from an objective. Uh, sort of place. Uh, it, they were always there to lend that and to to just be such a great supporter of the, the composers that they represent. 